Hi guys, I'm Roman and I'm making this short instructional video on how to update your MFD Autopilot to the last firmware. This is not a new procedure, but there are still some users that have problems updating their Autopilot, so I thought it will be nice to make this video. First of all, I'll assume that you have installed your drive, uh, the drivers for your USB TTL board. So please connect the jumper to the 3.3 volts and then connect the board to USB. And the and the computer manager, device manager, you should see a USB serial port with COM number. If by any chance you want to change the COM number, you just right click, click properties, go to port settings, advanced, and change the COM number to any number you like. You can choose only these which are marked in use. I'll select COM24 this time and pressing OK. And press OK. You can see USB serial port and COM24. If you see a line like this, then you'll find and your USB T12 board isn't bricked and you can update the autopilot without problems. Now let's go back to the autopilot and I'll show you what you have to do. Disconnect the USB cable from the board. Connect the USB TTL board to the autopilot in the place of GPS. If the autopilot is still installed in the plane, you have to disconnect the GPS and connect the USB TTL board as you can see. Now you have to press the button and connect the USB. Everything is fine. The LEDs on USB TTL board flashed. On autopilot didn't flash, that means everything is fine. Now just go to the folder where you downloaded the MFD updating program, run it and here you must select the right COM port as you can see it is already selected as COM24, click next. The green light means you are fine to click next. The application will automatically identify the target uh, microchip. Click next. On this page you should select which firmware you want to update. You click 1.17. I assume that you already downloaded the firmware and you've renamed it to the um, dot H E X. Click open and be careful, don't tick any other options. Only select the firmware, and this erase necessary pages should be ticked. Don't mess with uh, our settings, please. Click next, and the firmware starting. Okay, you can see here that the LEDs are flashing, that means the updating is ongoing.
OK, green light. That means everything was flashed successfully. Close the application. And disconnect the USB detail board from autopilot. One more step you should perform, you should reset the AP to defaults. Just connect the power to the autopilot. I will use a 3S LiPo and press the button for 5 seconds. Red LED is flashing, that means the autopilot was reset to default, so we just disconnect the power right now. You have the autopilot with the last firmware installed.